Shalom, breaking news, breaking news. A Christian leaves the faith. There's a video I came across by Vocab Malone. The, vo the downfall of uh, Vocab Malone's uh, demonic gathering is to, it's, it's at an end. Anyway, there's a video uh, the videos uh, a, fa a fanatic of cross movement leave Christianity apologist responds. So I'm only seven seconds into this uh, video right here. I'll let you hear a little bit of it. Let me bring it back. I hope you can hear it. the Christian faith that I have believed, professed, proclaimed, and defended for the last 30 years of my life. Fanatic from the cross movement. We woke up today to his video announcement about 24 minutes where he uh, denounced the Christian faith, said he no longer believed. In 2014, uh, I began to have doubts. I began to wrestle uh, with my faith. I uh, recently sent a letter to the church. <laughs> yeah, he started watching Hebrew Israelite videos, man. And um, this Christianity left a sour taste in his mouth. Well, I don't know the facts. I don't know all the facts. But it was 2015, man, we was really, this is when, hey, 2016 is when vocab had to come against us, man. Because there was a lot of rumblings in Christianity. And this form of Christianity. Let's listen to a little bit more. Hope you can hear it. Um, withdrawing my membership from the church. We're beginning to see a lot more of this. Um, New Testament theologians and scholars and pastors and, uh, you know, well-known persons literally denouncing the Christian faith, saying, I, I, I don't believe it anymore. And, uh, and so this has probably shocked some I'm not sure what the impact will be, but certainly uh, the conscious community, I'm sure black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind and it will become part of their narrative. People are waking up. Oh, you damn right. You damn right. Out of the, all the groups that he mentioned, he had to mention the BHI because that's, we believe that this guy don't want to be a Christian no more because he's been watching the videos, whether it be IUIC, ICPK, uh, GMS, and any of the Israelite groups, uh, Sakari, you know, all you brothers and these, you other camps, we get on y'all, but you know what? You're teaching that the people of Israel, that's a good thing. So we're going to give you a hand clap on that. I hope you can hear my hand clap. But he, at first thing came in his mind, uh, Hebrew Israelites. Let's listen to that again. This is good news. This is good news. This is good news. a lot more of this. Um, New Testament theologians and scholars and pastors and, uh, you know, well-known persons literally denouncing the Christian faith, saying, I, I, I don't believe it anymore. And, uh, and so this has probably shocked some. I'm not sure what the impact will be, but certainly uh, the conscious community, I'm sure Black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind. Uh, the conscious community, I'm sure black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind and the uh, conscious community, I'm sure black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind and it will become part of their narrative. People are black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind and it will, the conscious community, I'm sure black Hebrew Israelites have gotten wind and it will become part of their narrative. People are waking up grand rising. See, I told you we're going to be kind of uh, analyzing some of the things that he said in that video, we're not going to play it because we got some, uh, just for time constraints, about 24 minute long, uh, but we are going to be having a very honest conversation about some of the things uh, that he did say. And uh, we wanna bring some clarity, some light, some truth to this uh, conversation. And, uh, and so uh, with me today is uh, uh, our dear brother, uh, Adam Coleman, 
and uh, I've got Vocab Malone and uh, Pastor Elijah McGill. Uh, we're going to be talking about it tonight. And so, brothers, go ahead and jump in. Uh, let's just start off with um, what are some of your thoughts? How did it hit you? Uh, and uh, what, just thinking about and reflecting upon some of the points that he made, because he did ask us to hear his heart. He wanted us to hear him, and we did. I listened to every last second of the video. How did it hit you? What are some of your thoughts, brothers? Go ahead and jump in. In the beginning, it seemed like Fanatic did have the, the vibe of the humble seeker. When I say the beginning, I'm talking about the beginning of the 24 or so minute video he released today on Facebook. Um, and there was a certain kind of well, vocab look hurt, man. Oh, uh, this 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 brother's name is uh, he mentioned Coleman. That's Coleman. He was we met him. Cool brother, cool brother. Very came off and really sincere. He, I remember the last thing he said, he, he said, good bill, good bill. And he said it. And I looked at him. I looked into his soul. And um, he said it from the heart, from the soul, you know. So don't be surprised if this brother come around, come around town. There's a man going around taking names. There's a man going around taking names. That's from the famous uh, Johnny Cash, which he's, he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, all right? But this man right here, you better hope that you're an Israelite, man. You don't look too chipper today. Anyway, with <laughs> with you, you're losing, man. You're losing. You're losing, you know? Uh, what's her name? Uh, damn. Lost, lost one. Uh, damn, I can't even think of a name. And I don't want to play it because they might, they might clip this video. I want to see if I can bring it up. Bear me for a minute. Bear me for a minute. Bear me for another minute. Okay. Uh oh. Let me see if I can spell it right. All right, Lauren, Lauren Hill or the Fugees. I'm not going to play it, but I suggest. I wanted to play it, but like I said, they may clip me. But this is, uh, I'll dedicate this song to you, Vocab. Lost One. You know? Lost One. Let me, let me, let me do this here. Let me, let me do this here. I can't, I don't want to play it, but I'm going to go to the lyrics. Bear me for a minute. There's so much, oh, and, and you know, give, you, give yourselves a hand. You brothers out there pushing this word nonstop. Let me, give me a second here. I just want to get some of the lyrics off of this, off of this tune right here. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Uh, All right, lyrics, lyrics, a lot of lyrics. I'll read a, uh, a few, I'll read a few part of it. Lyrics to Lost One. It's funny how money changes the situation. Miscommunication leads to complication. My uh, emancipation don't fit your equation, vocab. My emancipation don't fit your equation. That's why the brother left, because his emancipation doesn't fit your equation. I was on the humble, and they said that. They said the first 20 minutes he came on the humble tip. You on every station. Yeah, Vocab trying to take over, but he's dying. 
someone play young Lauren like she dumb, like they play the Israelites like we're dumb, but remember, not a game new under the sun. See, Satan been doing this from time immemorial, and you just got the 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 uh the baton right now, vocab, and you're losing Satan. You're losing Satan. Everything you did has already been done. I know all the tricks from bricks to Kingston. My ting done made your kingdom one. Run now, understand. I boogies nonviolent because he tried to make everything. He, hey, if there's a shooting, do you know this guy that shot the guy? He was at the camp. And he had a T-shirt on, and he was wearing fringes. So that makes him a Hebrew Israelite, trying to demonize us. But if a thing tests me, run for me gun. And our gun is the Bible, by the way. Can't take a threat to me, newborn son. L's been this way since creation. L's been this way since creation. A groupie call. You fall from temptation. Now you want to ball over separation. Vocab got a, he got a problem with the separation from that brother. That brother tarnished my image in your conversation. And that, oh, that, that, that right there. Oh, I love that. Tarnish my image in your conversation. And that's what you do. Anytime you speak about Israelites, it's always in a negative light. So now you're, you're and, and see, what you don't understand is, Acts the fifth chapter, the 38th verse, Gamaliel told these guys, let, let these men be, least happily ye be found to fight against the Most High. You ain't fighting against us, you're fighting against the Most High, and you're losing big time. We represent the Most High. Who you going to scrimmage like you the champion? You might win some, but you just lost one. You might win some, but you just lost one. Now, now, how come your talk turned cold, vocab? Gain the whole world for the price of your soul, vocab. Trying to grab hold of what you can't control, vocab. Now you all, now you all, what's that? Now you all floss. What a sight to behold. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. <laughs> I, have hope. I, I was hopeless. Now I'm more hopeful. Every man wants to act like he's exempt need to get down on his knees and that's what vocab is going to do you're losing you're losing you are losing and repent well you can't repent because you're not an israelite anyway that's part of the lyrics i would love to play this song but you know how you two get down anyway with that i would say shalom so just hop on over to vocab malone's page you can uh, listen to the video do your own critique on that video, whatever. But they lost one and it was a Jake. So, and I hope that Jake, you know, begins to, you know, watch the videos dealing with the Hebrew Israelites. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.